everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today you guys I'm going to share with you five ways to wear a suit. I have mentioned the idea for this video in one of my um, latest videos I think it was in the autumn outfits if you haven't seen that video before I will leave to the link to it below but I have shown you a suit and it was a cream wide leg trouser suit from H&M that I recently got and I suggested the idea to show you a couple of outfits of how to wear a suit different ways meaning that you don't always have to wear the suit together so the blazer can be worn um, separately and the trousers can be worn separately as well so today I have picked five outfits using the trousers and using the blazer separately I've got all my outfits ready so let's dive straight in and get to see the outfits. Here's my rail. I definitely went for quite autumnal um, warmer outfits because um, September is pretty much finished and I feel like we are really transitioning into colder um, month where we can enjoy a bit more layering, a bit more knitwear, which is totally my favorite thing. I definitely prefer colder months, especially autumn and spring when I can layer up a little bit more. And I'm such a big fan of knitwear that I feel like summer just doesn't do it for me, even though I am definitely a warm person in a way that I get cold so easily. I hate being cold. So a bit of controversial situation there, but I am loving the layers. I'm loving all the colors, like the beiges, the creams. Um, this is very much what my wardrobe looks like most of the time. Um, a lot of denim, a lot of beiges, browns, um, and creams. So let's dive straight into the first outfit. And I'm actually wearing half of my outfit already. I've got my H and jeans on which I love I love this shade of denim I like the fit so it's just a straight very simple fit and I'm gonna put a blazer with this but on top I actually have a body so it's one of my Wolford bodies with a long sleeve I love these for so many reasons because in winter when it's very cold I layer them up under jumpers but Sometimes I actually wear them as tops, but they always keep you very warm and it's a body. So I feel very comfortable in body. So I decided to go for that. Otherwise, I'm going to pop some loafers on. And these are my Gucci loafers. But I feel like any kind of black shoe that is a little bit um, classier, a little bit maybe a bit more sophisticated, not as casual, but still very comfortable, will work really well for this outfit. And yeah, normally I would wear this either with... Um, like little invisible socks or maybe tights if it's colder um, so like skin colored tights that you can't really see and then this is the blazer that, you, that I showed you last time the double breasted blazer um, I like that it's a little bit longer I love this kind of cream um, cream white color it's a little bit more oversized rather than very fitted a little bit more of like a men's suit which I feel like these days you can totally get away with buying a men's suit um, and wearing it yourself so this is kind of the base of the outfit itself just some black shoes a nice black top maybe even a black turtleneck would look really lovely with this or any any kind of white blouse that you have um, and for me it's just wearing things that are really comfortable and you feel confident in and once you've layered things they will already look really nice and then I would just grab a bag and that would be my outfit complete That's our outfit number one for the next one um, I'm going to go into a knitted dress and I actually picked two uh, different ones. I'm going to show you one on, but I also bought this absolutely gorgeous dress in H&M recently and I wanted to show it to you because I know that some of you already bought it because last time when I was showing you my knitted dresses I linked this as an alternative or as a dupe or just like another version of it because that's what I, I try to always do and give you options from different shops of different price points and this dress is just stunning I love the cut that it has here I like this kind of puffy sleeve it's not as long as my other ones but it comes in the waist really nicely but I am going to go into my knitted dress from Arquette this 
beauty that I, I have showed you recently. And I definitely think like with things like that, that is a very simple neat dress, you have options of how to style it. So I think I'm going to show it to you with two different shoes. The first one is this kind of very heavy um, lace boot that is from Massimo Dutti. And then we've got our blazer to go on top. This is our outfit number two. So here I would maybe roll up the sleeves a little bit because the boots make it quite a casual outfit. So even the blazer that looks quite classy, maybe something that you would go to work or you know you would go in a suit, you can totally change the style of them by putting different accessories with it. So I really like this. If you wanted, you could even add a little pop of color with a bag, you could put a scarf, um, you could put a belt onto your dress, just like spice it up, make it a little bit more interesting. I've just grabbed my Celine Trapeze. Um, it's quite an old bag, but I still really enjoy wearing it. And even though that's probably the brightest thing I own, somehow it fits into my wardrobe really nicely. one way to wear it but I'm going to show it to you with the other dress as well and um, just so you can see different kind of ways you can wear it so this is the other dress that I just showed you and again I would pop the blazer on and by the way I just love 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 the fit of this dress so much I love the style of it love the fit love the neckline I feel like this dress is a little bit more dressed up so I would go for a little heel uh, maybe a sandal just a little bit more dressed up so I'm putting my Chanel sling bags out. there were a lot of questions about the shoes in the last video that I showed um, them in and I will find you guys some dupes so definitely check the description box below I always link so many different products from so many different shops and price points so definitely check it and then I would grab a little bag um, like this little Chloe bracelet one and this is another kind of way to wear the blazer with a knitted dress but in a very different style to what I just showed you so yeah I just thought I will give you some options up a little bit and I'm gonna show you an outfit using the trousers from the suit and then we'll go back to the blazer for one more outfit. So I'm gonna pop the trousers on and these are the trousers they're just a wide leg um, quite a long pair of almost like palazzo trousers um, and I love again the color I like that they're not a plain white color that they have that creamy um, beautiful tone to them. By the way, I am five foot nine and a half or 177 centimeters. So uh, I always try to mention my height just so you guys know how things look um, on different people, on different heights. Uh, I'm normally size eight to 10, totally depends on the brand. A lot of the times I am at eight um, on the bottom and 10 on the top, just because I have wide shoulders. So, and then on top, I'm gonna go for one of the newer knitwear purchases that I made. And this is another knitwear uh, piece from H&M. And this has, uh, yak wool in it, which is quite interesting, and I love the knit. This kind of pleated knits, I love that it's a bit um, wider on the body, and that it has this beautiful wider sleeve, big collar, gorgeous kind of grey creamy colour, just fits perfectly, like literally slid into my wardrobe, like it always belonged there. I really, really love this. I think it's still available online, so I'm going to link this one below, and I would definitely maybe half tuck the jumper in just to create a little bit more shape otherwise because the trousers are quite wide and the jumper is quite oversized um, I feel like it's quite overwhelmingly big but if you can't tuck it I think it creates a little bit more silhouette and I would actually go for maybe a sneaker or some kind of casual boot and um, something quite quite comfy quite casual and then I would just grab a bag 
and that is our outfit complete and you could actually layer this up with a blazer on top as well I actually like to go size up in my blazers because I like to layer up underneath but otherwise this is probably one of my favorites I love all the colors all all this kind of neutral um, tones very calm tones but I feel very warm I feel cozy but I also feel quite stylish so that's a bonus trousers we might as well jump into another outfit using the trousers so I'm gonna change my jumper to a turtleneck and the turtleneck that I have is from Uniqlo and I have to say that Uniqlo does some of the best basics be it cotton cashmere or wool and this is a mix of wool and I actually own this turtleneck in a few different colors and I'm not ashamed to say that I buy some pieces in different colors because this is like a staple piece. This is so easy to wear and transition through the seasons. I put my turtleneck on and I've tucked it in and I'm actually going to go for another loafer. I really like them. They've got this gold um, details on them, um, but I just like them. They're quite simple. They weren't obviously as expensive as the Gucci ones and I will find you some dupes for the Gucci ones. No problem. Uh, you absolutely don't have to spend that amount of money on shoes if you don't want to. Uh, there are so many different versions of them out there so I'm gonna pop these on and I'm a big 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 fan of cream on cream on cream so if I had a like a cream coat which I don't but there is one that I have been looking at uh, I would totally put this on but because I don't have it and because I actually think that the coat that I have will still look really good I'm gonna put my camel coat on and this is from Mark Kane. I have had this coat for quite a few years and this is one of my favorite like outwear pieces that I probably own. It's such a good fit and I think that um, trench coats and camel coats uh, and kind of like autumnal or in general autumn outwear is all about finding your fit and finding your color. I would probably grab my little Chloe bag just to bring another shade um, of like brown green into it and that is our outfit number four which I absolutely love and again you don't have to compromise on comfort to look good because I definitely feel incredibly comfortable but at the same time you definitely look like you've made an effort so yeah let me know guys what has been your favorite outfit today then we still have one more to go but definitely let me know what's your favorite and if you have spotted something that you like guys we have one more outfit to go and i'm gonna go back to the blazer and I also have some um, leather leggings. Well, I've got my H&M uh, fake leather leggings on. I keep showing them to you because I think they're such a steal. They're so cheap, but they're such a great pair of leggings that don't constantly pull down and they don't look as cheap as they are because they're not as shiny as some leggings are. So I definitely recommend having a look at them and also the reason why I show you a lot of similar pieces or same pieces is because I create a rail of clothes and items that I try to build my outfits around so it's like a little capsule wardrobe for a season that I just add pieces in and take them out um, and like that really you can wear you know maybe 15 pieces uh, the whole season, mix them and match them and they will never look the same. Either way, I'm popping a blouse on. This one is from Free People and I love it. Like I love how floaty it is. So this is the blouse and as you can see it's got this really lovely uh, oversized sleeve and you could tuck this in otherwise we are popping that blazer back on and again here you could absolutely go for a plain black t-shirt you could go for a white t-shirt maybe a vest some kind of blouse 
And there, I think we kind of have two options with shoes here. I would either go again for my loafer, or I would go for that kind of Chanel sling back if I wanted to uh, dress it up a little bit more. I would definitely grab a bigger, uh, more like an everyday bag, maybe a toad. This is like a bucket bag from Teddy Blake that I have because I am thinking of this outfit more of running errands, things to do, business mode on, etc. You know, I have to go to town and I have to do a lot of things, so I need to take my whole life in my bag. today you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what was your favorite outfit of the day also let me know what other outfit videos or fashion videos styling videos you would like to see from me any kind of ideas throw them in the comment section below and i will try to film things soon and otherwise i hope you're all doing well thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and i hope to see you very soon in my next video bye